The wind whispered through the dense forest, creating an eerie symphony of rustling leaves and creaking branches. The moon cast its pale glow on the deserted campground, illuminating the tents like ghostly apparitions in the night. Alex shivered as he zipped up his sleeping bag, trying to shake off the unsettling feeling that had settled in the pit of his stomach. Alone in the wilderness, he had embarked on a solo camping trip to disconnect from the chaos of everyday life. The crackling campfire had provided solace earlier, but now as the flames dwindled to glowing embers, an unsettling silence enveloped the clearing. The distant hooting of an owl echoed through the trees, sending a shiver down Alex's spine. He tried to convince himself that it was just his imagination playing tricks on him, but the shadows dancing on the tent walls seemed to take on sinister forms. With each snap of a twig or distant rustle, his anxiety intensified. It's just the sounds of the forest, he muttered, attempting to reassure himself. Determined to quell his uniza, Alex reached for his flashlight and unzipped the tent. The beam cut through the darkness, revealing the towering trees and the eerie outlines of the surrounding wilderness. He took a deep breath, attempting to steady his nerves, and ventured out into the night. As he walked along the deserted trail, the forest seemed to come alive with unseen movements. A twig snapped behind him, causing him to whirl around, but there was nothing there. Unease settled in again as he quickened his pace, the beam of his flashlight trembling as he scanned the surroundings. The campground appeared different at night, transformed into a labyrinth of shadows and mysterious sounds. Alex couldn't shake the feeling of being watched. He reached the edge of a clearing, and there, beneath the moonlight, stood an ancient gnarled tree. Its twisted branches reached out like skeletal fingers, casting eerie silhouettes on the ground. Suddenly the wind carried a haunting melody, as if the forest itself whispered secrets. Alex's heart pounded, and he felt a strange compulsion to approach the ominous tree. As he neared it, he noticed a small, weathered box nestled at the base of the trunk. His curiosity overcame his unease, and he gingerly opened the box. Inside, he found a collection of old photographs, each depicting different people camping in the same spot over the years. The unsettling part was that the people in the photos looked exactly like him. The same red jacket, the same backpack, even the same nervous expression. Dread settled in as Alex realized the chilling truth. He was not alone. The forest had a malevolent consciousness, capturing the essence of every camper who had ventured into its depths. The ancient tree acted as a keeper of memories, a silent witness to the countless souls that had become part of its haunting legacy. A cold breeze swept through the clearing, extinguishing Alex's flashlight. Panic set in as the shadows around him seemed to converge, and the forest itself seemed to inhale with a sinister presence. The night had only just begun, and Alex was about to uncover the true horrors that awaited him in the heart of the haunted woods. Desperation gripped Alex as he fumbled in the darkness to relight his flashlight. The oppressive silence of the forest was broken only by the haunting whispers of the wind, carrying the echoes of past campers who had unwittingly become part of the eerie tapestry that surrounded him. As the beam of his flashlight flickered back to life, the surroundings had changed. The gnarled tree loomed larger, its branches now reaching out like skeletal hands trying to ensnare him. The photographs in the box seemed to whisper forgotten tales, their ghostly images pulsating with an otherworldly energy. With each step, the ground beneath Alex's feet felt increasingly unstable, as if the forest itself were alive and conspiring against him. The air grew thick with a chilling presence, and he could almost hear the heartbeat of the haunted woods. His mind raced with fear, realizing that he was entangled in a nightmarish dance with the malevolent spirit of the forest. As he stumbled backward, a ghostly figure emerged from the shadows. It was a translucent silhouette, wearing the same red jacket and backpack as the figures in the photographs. The apparition seemed to beckon him forward, its hollow eyes staring into his soul. The forest, now alive with spectral energy, resonated with a mournful wail that sent shivers down Alex's spine. Unable to resist the pull, Alex followed the ethereal figure deeper into the heart of the woods. The forest seemed to warp and twist around him, distorting reality as if he had stepped into a realm where time and space intertwined. The ancient tree, 
now a towering specter, cast a long, foreboding shadow that stretched across the surreal landscape. The whispers grew louder, weaving a tale of despair and longing. Alex could feel the weight of the past pressing upon him, the memories of those who had camped here before him, now a haunting chorus that reverberated through the very fabric of the forest. Suddenly, the ghostly figure halted, pointing towards a mysterious clearing bathed in an otherworldly glow. In the center of the clearing stood a spectral campfire, its flames dancing with an unnatural intensity. As Alex approached, he noticed shadows moving within the fire, taking shape and form. To his horror, the shadows coalesced into the familiar shapes of people, the campers from the photographs, their eyes hollow and faces etched with silent screams. They reached out to him, their ghostly fingers grazing his skin, as if imploring him to join them in their spectral purgatory. The forest, now a living entity of darkness and despair, reveled in the twisted symphony of lost souls. Alex's heart raced, torn between the urge to escape and the inexorable pull of the haunted woods. The air itself seemed to vibrate with the agony of those who had become one with the malevolent spirit that now sought to claim them. As the ghostly figures closed in, the haunting whispers reached a crescendo, drowning out every rational thought. Alex was on the precipice of a chilling revelation, one that would unravel the fabric of reality itself and plunge him into a nightmarish abyss from which there might be no escape.